If you work in Photoshop, you might be familiar with something called Free Transform. In Photoshop, you press Command or Control T, and that will allow you to transform an object. So scale it up and down, rotate it, and even uh, stretch and skew it. Now here in Illustrator, every object has a bounding box. And that bounding box is kind of like Free Transform is already applied. So we can click on a corner, and we can already transform things just like that. And we can hold Shift to keep it proportional. Same thing if we grab from the side, we can pull out from that direction, this direction, down, anything we want. We can also hover just outside the corner and begin to rotate. We hold shift again and we keep it locked into 30 degree increments or 45 degree increments or whatnot. And so we can make all those adjustments uh, because free transform is a little different here in Illustrator. It's kind of already applied to every object. Same thing with text. Now, if you find, and this is just holding shift and scaling up and down with uh, text elements here, if you find that you're having trouble with this transformation tool, there's actually a scale tool here in uh, Illustrator. I forgot what we're in, not Photoshop. We're in Illustrator. So this scale tool is over here in your toolbar, and the uh, shortcut key is S. We grab that. And we can adjust where the anchor point is just by clicking. And once we click a couple times, uh, we can simply scale from that anchor point in and out just by clicking and dragging outside of that. We can still hold shift to make sure it stays uh, locked in uh, proportionally, but you kind of have to go at an angle and make sure you hold it correctly. I don't know, the scale tool is kind of finicky, but there is a scale tool. So if you wanted to scale from like this anchor point up here, you would click that and then begin to just drag it down and hold shift and, and whatnot. So the scale tool does work, but also everything also just already has free transform applied to the bounding box itself. If you're not seeing this bounding box, you can actually turn it on and off just by going to the view dropdown. And I believe it's called uh, show edges. So right here, you'll see hide edges. So if we were to click on this, actually, no, that's for the anchor points. There's actually a bounding box, so I'm wrong. Let's go back to view. There's a bounding box right here, bounding box, so we can hide it. So if you're seeing this, you're not seeing the bounding box, you don't have any handles to grab, then go to the view dropdown, down to show bounding box. And now we've got the handles and this will allow us to transform our items or free transform our elements here in Adobe Photoshop. I mean Illustrator.